Hey guys, Dean here. So this is quite a personal video. It's about you know the future of the channel, what's been happening with the channel, um, why there has been a lack of videos and there has been lots of videos and um, it's quite a difficult video for me to make because it does concern the future of the channel and to be honest, just before I go any further, if this channel does mean anything to you or my videos mean anything to you and you actually do care, then I would appreciate that you did keep watching this video because um, it's uh, quite personal what I have to say because it's been a tough year for the channel um, I've kind of had to reinvent myself as a creator and kind of go down a different route so basically guys I'll just start from the beginning 2018 was the year of my channel I just it just boomed it grew so quickly so fast um, I made I obviously you guys know this is my full-time income I made some decent money from it I was able to get myself an apartment I was able to get myself a new car Um, I was able to clear some debts it just YouTube really had changed my life and it still has changed my life Harry Potter those videos that I made changed my life for the better it gave me the life that I have now I would not be here without YouTube I would be still living at home Um, the average wage in Ireland is so poor for the cost of living it's crazy but i won't get into politics guys but anyway 2018 was an amazing year then in january my whole world just came crashing down for those of you who don't know um, i received copyright strikes for using someone's photos that i shouldn't have used i had no idea that i could not use them in my videos it was my own fault i never had any problem i had always my phone is lighting up I had always messaged creators and, and artists that can I use your photos and majority of them would always reply yeah no problem just give me credit just give me credit in this case the people didn't reply I didn't know who they were but they weren't happy when they did discover and I had to take the consequence for that and it was hard to take because it was three copyright strikes three everyone knows and for those of you who don't know when you get three copyright strikes your channel is gone in seven days unless you can resolve the dispute and no matter how hard I tried it just wasn't happening I offered them money I offered them full credit I offered to remove the videos just said no 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 I pleaded and I begged I'm gonna lose everything I'll lose my channel they just still said no and the people who did it will remain anonymous I'm not gonna say anything like that I don't want to get into that anymore it's it's gone it's done dusted but only for Morgan from movie flame stepping in and saving my channel because the people who didn't like me were very big fans of him and Morgan stepped in and saved my channel because he campaigned to keep my channel he explained to them how much it affected my life and what would happen and the repercussions of what would happen if I did lose the channel so to this day I hold Morgan for movie flame if you haven't subscribed to Morgan you should do his videos are incredible if you think my videos are okay or you think my videos are actually really good his videos just go to another level incredible he also has a really cute dog um check him out but uh yeah so again i just want to say morgan i don't know if you will be watching this video but if you are thank you so much for what you've done because i wouldn't be sitting here guys or i'd be gone harry potter folklore would not exist i would have to go down the legal route anyway basically guys the condition of me keeping this channel with the copyright strikers is that i could know longer make the life of videos the life of videos you know the life of the characters the life of harry potter the life of Hermione granger where you narrate and evaluate their entire life with pictures and graphics and the whole lot they were 90 percent of the income that the channel made from those videos so i had to delete 65 videos all my income basically for those who don't know you can always make passive income with a youtube video a video that i made last year could still make money this year it's still up people are still watching it it may not be watching it in the drones that it was at the start but still making money when you add that to about 500 videos that are making you know three or four euros maybe a week it all adds up so the more videos you do the more money you can make but over time the videos that you made previously that maybe weren't so successful will drop off you know but anyway the popular ones will always going to stay around the watch time is there um which means you can put in more ads etc etc so anyway losing all of those videos just literally nearly destroyed the channel 
um, it was only for my my eyebrow just keeps going up all the time it's so annoying um, for my Game of Thrones channel that I was able to make ends meet Game of Thrones is coming to an end I made some good videos the channel just boosted up to 40,000 subscribers which means the income from that kind of balanced out with the Harry Potter and I was able to get by and I've been able to get by the last couple of months it's been really really uh, it's been it's been good um, again, Game of Thrones ended. The channel's kind of, you know, it, it it just happens. It's it's a YouTube thing. Sometimes when you know when you have a niche channel and and then the show ends, sometimes people need to just forget about it before they come back to it. Um, and that's what's been happening. So with Harry Potter folklore, I've gonna have to reinvent the channel. I had to go back to the theories and explaining things like you know you know spells and places and creatures and things like that i couldn't do characters anymore and i'm going to stick to not doing characters i would never go and break that deal um but it means that i had to just take the, the channel into a new dimension it did mean that i lost money of course it did and that was hard to take because you know everyone says oh you're a youtuber why don't you get a, a real job or you do nothing you just sit there and make videos like people are out there working you've no idea and for the people that do have ideas, you've no idea of how difficult it can be to be a YouTuber. I made videos on how difficult it can be to be a YouTuber. Sometimes I'm here 14 hours in a day editing and creating videos. Um, my phone is ringing. There you go. Sorry. And it's quite, it's quite difficult. Like It's draining as well when you finish one video and you're like, okay, now I need to get back into making another video. But that's just how it is. That's just how it goes. And, um, yeah, so I had to reinvent the channel. I had to think of new videos. And the thing is, when you have a list of characters that you want to do, the information is there. The characters are there. You just go through a list. I'll do Lily Potter next. I'll do James next. And I'll do series after that. And I think I'll do Peter Pettigrew. And then I think I'll do this, 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 this. And all the information, yeah, I could take it from Pottermore. I could take it from the Harry Potter wiki. I could take it from the books. It's all there. When you have to think um, of, a th of a theory and think it all up and type it all up from scratch, it takes a hell of a lot longer. So I found that what I could get videos out in two or three days, I was taking four or five days, I have to write it, think it all up, write it, and I'm like, okay, do I need to add more? How long does this video need to be? My videos previously, my life of videos are always past 10 minutes, maybe 15, 20 minutes, which means I could put in maybe three or four extra ads, make a little bit of extra revenue. Couldn't do that anymore. I have like got past 10 minutes, I could put maybe an extra ad in before people start complaining. It's been very, very tough and very, very draining. Then with Game of Thrones lore, that kind of dropped off a little bit because the show ended. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been tough. It's probably my toughest year as a YouTuber. And I never told any of my family or friends how hard it's been in terms of you know, getting all these views and all these subscribers and from going from that to just dropping down a bit, it's kind of hard to take um, and it's quite stressful as well. But in terms of the future of the channel, I was contemplating just stripping it all back, just maybe one video a week and just focusing on Game of Thrones and starting my own channel being on camera. Just I'm just kind of moving away from the Harry Potter because I just felt that I think one video that I put up, I think didn't pass like 11,000 views and I know that's a lot of views for someone but when you come from 355,000 subscribers getting 25, 30,000 views, 40, 50,000 views and then a, a video that you put maybe four days work into just barely scrapes 11 I'm like yeah maybe it just didn't go over but when you believe in it when you believe in that video and that theory and that idea and you're thinking God, I really, really needed this video to go down well. And then it doesn't. It's a bitter pill to swallow. But again, I'm just one YouTuber. All the YouTubers go through this as well, you know. But, um, yeah. So, in terms of the future of the channel, I'm just going to throw 100% into it. I'm going to give it all. I'm going to give it my absolute all. I'm going to be on camera more. And, yeah. I put up a video doing a quiz and it got 6,000 views. 
Who cares? My on-camera presence is never going to compete with my off-camera work, my off-screen work, like the the animations, the photos, and everything like that, and the cutouts and everything coming into to, to make to the making of a video that made this channel famous. So me being on camera is never going to really compete with my other videos but if I can get six or seven thousand views and six or seven thousand of you are watching me well then it still makes me happy um, but yeah so guys I'm gonna try to just keep this positive I just when I think back to the last few months the year it's been with the channel nearly losing it and nearly losing my livelihood and then feeling like and I'm, I'm such a disappointment, I've let everybody down, I've made myself out to be, you know, I'm successful and I'm, I'm, I've, I've got a wide audience and, you know, I'm getting invited to these premieres and invited to these days out and and then it's just, when you feel like that's all about to go away because of a silly mistake you made by using someone's art, it's kind of tough to take. But, as I said, I want to end this on a positive note, guys, I couldn't be more happier to be running this channel to be owning this channel and to look at where this channel has come from and um, it's going to be four years since i first started this channel december 2015 is when i put my first video up and now it's coming into almost september 2019 and to look at where the channel has come is just really incredible really um i will be giving my all as i said I'll be making as much content as possible. I will still be devoting time to my Game of Thrones channel as well. I have two channels now. I don't have the one. Um, and I have to give time to that other channel as well. Because I haven't in the last month. And it's just dropped off the face of the earth. and um, Which kind of makes me sad. Because I put a lot of work into those videos as well. So I will be dividing my time between both channels. Harry Potter Folklore will always going to take the main bulk of my time. Maybe like 70-80%. Until the Game of Thrones channel grows as well. I'm going to be starting my own vlogging on screen camera. Just about um, difficulties that I've faced in my life. Things like anxiety, depression, breakups, getting over people. You know, things like growing up with, in, in a house where your parents are. Just, just, just things like your parents aren't around. Stuff like that. Um, I think it might go down well. Who knows? But it's going to be a while. A couple of months before I get, get the on screen vlogging. I'm going to buy a new camera as well. Um, if anybody does vlogging professionally or even has a vlogging YouTube channel, because I've 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 based my 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 whole channel on off screen work, I'm not really sure what what camera to buy for vlogging. I do have my light here and I do have my 1080 um camera here to to film me while I'm on. Um, I have my mic the whole lot. But if anybody can suggest the best camera for vlogging that I'm gonna buy. Um, please let me know in the comments below guys I just wanted to come on just a little personal chat to let you know that the channel's not going anywhere I'm going to be giving it my all I'm going to put as much content as I can while still keeping the quality so guys thanks very much for watching it does mean a lot to me as well to be able to talk to you on a personal level and thank you so much for the support it really really does mean the world to me um, as I said you guys are like a family a big big family even the comments that you've put under I haven't been on camera in a long time and the comments are like you look great it's great to see you so happy great to see you in person it just I don't think people understand how far a compliment can give someone can get someone you know so thanks very much guys and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video